talking GDK, you dropping the race. I'm going right in, I'm not finna play. New pipes came in, I'm copping the tray. Your body get dropped if I hop in the way. My fours go up, they don't never go down. I spin on your block like a merry-go-round. I run out of smoke, I might take me a pound. Big folks in your hood, little nigga get out. Yo, bitch, I ball and she catching the drip. A nigga move wrong, he catching the drip. yourself for the people that don't know. What's good, man? You got Debo Wyman on this bitch, man. Mr. GDN. Big folks, whatever the fuck you wanna call me. Straight from Inglewood, man. Representing that west side and that motherfucking south side, man. All that shit. Yeah. So you say repping West Side and the South Side. Repping you got the West Side and the South Side. Shout out to Purple Ass, man. Shout out my fucking Eaglewoods. How long you been rapping? Shit, I've been rapping shit, shit. I've been rapping. I've been rapping since I then I knew what music was. Like, I always made lyrics in my head when I was a shorty, but I never really, like, on some serious shit, though. You see? Why not? Shit, you know, where I'm from, people don't make it, you know? Mm hmm. So, ain't no, ain't no big aspirations other than being selling drills and shit, you see? Yeah. So tell me a little bit about YMM. What is YMM? Uh, it was YMM. Shit, we just started off like shit. It was just uh like in our neighborhood, we had a movement, and then, like a lot of our niggas went to jail. Few niggas died, and it was just all like young niggas out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. so we had niggas out, but it was just like a bunch of young niggas, and we just like, oh man, we are young. Yeah, we on Morgan. We are, we a family, so we like we had, we the young Morgan family, but like. Fuck, we the young Morgan Mafia, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, La, La Familia, so we just, you know, just me and a few of the guys on some, on some, on, just on some shit. So everybody that's a part of YMM, like, you all knew each other from the Sandbox type shit? Yeah. Real talk, Sandbox, that's, that, that, like, it's 2020, man, Sandbox got a whole nother definition, like, most of my niggas, I ain't grow up with my niggas since I was, like, a baby, like, real Sandbox. I come from my niggas, I'm probably about eight, nine. I okay. first met my niggas and shit, but mm -hmm. nine years old, that's good enough to know, you feel So you can basically say the sandbox, the monkey boss, you feel Did you grow up in Inglewood your whole life? No, I grew up on the west side. Oh, really? That building right on Jackson and Pulaski, man, my grandma house, man, I grew up in that crib right there. But you know, my mom and them, my family, they come off Douglas and Sawyer, mm -hmm. Spaulding, and Christiana. My family been living over there for years, so I still got family over there right now. Okay, okay. What would you say is a big difference between the south side and the west side? In terms of culture, anything? Uh, by me being on the west side and on the south side, everybody be having that shit confused. It's the same shit. You got killers, you got snitches, you got dirty niggas, niggas that can dress, scary niggas, mm -hmm. niggas that fuck all the bitches, niggas can't get no pussy. Mm -hmm. Hustlers, killers, that shit everywhere, bro. But at a high rate, it's on the south side. Like, I ain't gonna even stun. Like, out south, this shit can really, like, niggas out here really just get up and do this shit. Mm -hmm. Out west, niggas gonna get that money, and them niggas can talk to each other before shit get, you know, but it's, I, it's getting out of hand out there, though, you feel? Yeah. So, you rap, you rap GD real hard. I rap GD super hard, bro. Like, super hard. Super. So, like, tell me about, it seems you also in your songs lately, you've been fucking with New York rappers a lot. So I swear, they, man, folks them genuine, you feel me? Yeah. Like, Chicago niggas, and when they come up, they feel like, hey, man, what the band, they don't, they can't, I don't know, man, Chicago, they, everybody got sticks up their ass, everybody get a buzz, and they feel like they better than everybody. Them niggas... You know what I'm saying? Them niggas doing millions, folks them out there doing millions for they got shit, they got big movements going on, they getting money, and they fuck with niggas on some ritual shit. Ain't, ain't no nigga from New York asked me, Bo, man, uh, we ain't never talked about money. I ain't talked to money about none of them niggas from New York. I got features coming, PNBJ, MV Kane, God damn it. Uh, I, had, I had some shit coming, RP my nigga Nick Blakey, mm -hmm. God damn it, like, PNB Main, PNB Banger, God damn it. So many New York artists I fuck with right now. They, you know what I'm saying? Most of them GDs, but they ain't got to be GD either, though. You feel me? I don't really care about that. It's GDs I don't like right now. Mm hmm. So, when you say it's GDs you don't like right now, is it like. Do people that follow the original GD code have something against Renegades or Insane? Nah, hell nah, hell nah, hell nah, cause. Nah. I know Insane's and shit too, you feel me? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, it ain't nothing like that, but. It's just shit, you know, everybody, everybody GDK, and it's like shit, you feel me? Like, I, we always been underdogs, so we been used to everybody going against us, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But it's just the thing, everybody feel like, are right, you GD in Chicago, you in tour with them. Or you BD in Chicago, you in tour with them, it ain't like that, you feel me? I know BDs, I be having BDs around, a couple BDs been in my videos, y'all just don't know them. Mm -hmm. They street niggas, they don't rap. Y'all think everybody rappers and shit. Y'all be letting blogs get y'all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't, you know what I'm saying? We real niggas out here, bro. You can be whatever. I got Breeze in this bitch right now, you feel? Mm -hmm. Look, you know what I'm saying? Foes, whatever, bro. Vice Lords, I got, you feel me? I'm with all type of shit, folks. Hey, make sure you, yeah, we dangerous. So don't try to come to our studio session. Y'all think we booked. Y'all try to follow our lives and shit. Y'all know how we rocking, man. Yeah. Y'all know how we bump. We ain't even got to say no words, man. But yeah, we be booling though. We trying to get some money. We just caught our wave basically like a couple months ago when I dropped GDN. I'm finna quit rapping. Mm -hmm. You hear me? Why? Cause be a, 
I don't know, man. It's like, it's like the the rap game want to see niggas troll. They want to see you gotta be you gotta be beefing with a nigga. You gotta be dissing a nigga. You gotta you gotta be trolling. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pitch over. You gotta you gotta. If if I gotta step in other people's business to get on, you feel me? I'll just take the slow route, bro. Cause I don't wanna get. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be pitting they self and shit. They ain't got nothing to do. And niggas be trying to troll so hard. They have blemish their whole image. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Trying to get on there, like you know what I'm saying? Like I, the baby was that nigga till I sent it with a pamper. You, well, you still that nigga, but I sent it with a pamper. I was like, hold on, hold on. you know what I'm saying? I won't put on no pamper for like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll do some shit. Don't get me wrong. If I gotta get there, you feel me? I, I ain't I ain't you know, certain niggas like I don't wanna I ain't saying that the baby blemish his image, but I don't wanna do nothing in that nature where it's like, man, that nigga, man, that deep nigga deeper walked up the street with a pair of drawers. How you say it is Mr. GDN and all that, you feel me? I got mm -hmm. big I got board members, all type of shit behind me. I can't like, you feel me? So a big uh thing a lot of people say is that GDs don't have structure anymore. What can you say about that? Well that's 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 correct right there. Mm -hmm. GDs don't got a lot of structure. Mm -hmm. They don't have a lot of structure. Like a lot of GDs now they see, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's kinda of like slavery in a way. You know how they came with the ships and then they start taking all the slaves? They taking mm -hmm. all the GDs and they pin them on the slave ships. And oh, they taking yeah. them to the old block and they taking them know that and they and So they, they they a lot of people flipping. No, they what they what they slave capture. Mm -hmm. I call it slave capture. Okay. Yeah, they taking them to another land. Mm. <laughs> okay, okay. I guess it's the land of the well. Some of them trying to get back to the land of the free, but we don't want them niggas back. We need to stay with it. <laughs> okay, so a big misconception about Chicago is that GDs are only really into it with BDs. No, no, no. Yeah. My side of GD, we've been into it with Moe's, you feel me? Mm -hmm. We run it up right. We used to be into it with BDs too, but like, that's like, you know, certain shit be like, everything and everything, you know what I'm saying? Certain niggas and it's certain shit, but like, a lot of BDs right now, it's it's cool, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot of BDs, I actually grew up with like, like for real, for real, like in the family, all type of shit, and it ain't no, it don't be like that. Bro, I grew up, what, two, three blocks from Dog Pound. I know everybody, I know every BD over there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? I ain't you know, a lot of niggas sit here and try to stunt for other niggas and try to, Pick a side, bro. I'm me, bro. Anybody niggas see me, niggas know how I'm coming. Niggas know how me and my homies know coming, bro. We real niggas. We've been, we been doing shit before. Like, we was one of the first peel blocks in the, in the area. You feel me? We, mm -hmm. We've been, like, we've been getting shit on. We've been doing shit before. Niggas was rappers. When rappers weren't rappers, we was selling pills. And we mm -hmm. was making money. And we right. was beating niggas and shooting niggas way back when. Mm -hmm. So, I think it was, like, two years ago, you were... In the Netflix documentary. Oh uh, yeah, I'm on Netflix. I'm on. I'm off. I'm gonna do some more Netflix. I got some more Netflix shit coming. How would you get in tune with Netflix? <sighs> like some days, like people see me, and they just gravitate to me. Like, I'm. I, it's a motherfucker who was doing some shit, and they was like, they see me in my image. Like, mm -hmm. they used to go on my Instagram. I don't know how they found me. I just like the stick up man. The uh, the, the nigga. I'm just super drillish. Mm -hmm. So I guess they was on some. They want to be like coming like in the real hood of Chicago. Folks got out with me from uh, <coughs> what's folks' name? I gotta give him his credit too, cause he helped me out. Uh, Do up CTC CTC from uh, folks from Motown. You feel me? One of the most. You feel mm -hmm. me? Now you just heard me say, our blocks. You know what I'm saying? Really been a tour of Mo's, and he bro was a Mo, and he put me on to some opportunity. You feel me? Yeah. That's how I'm showing you. Like everything gonna be everything. You got your particular shit, bro. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, your identity was kept anonymous in that Netflix documentary. Oh, well, niggas know that was me, though. Niggas know my voice. Niggas <laughs> know I dress. Yeah. Would you, how was it, what was it like working with them? That's oh, like. That shit was fun, bro. Like, yeah. you know, like, having all them different cameras on the block, like, mm -hmm. like, shit, that shit, like, when I see people, that was like, I get, like, people hope in my neighborhood, you feel me? Yeah. Like, they see cameras coming out for, for Devo, the niggas used to break in all the houses. Still not the stove, quarter juices, mm -hmm. trying to get a two for five, you know what I'm saying? Same shit, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Same nigga that was doing all I got cameras pulling up on the block for me. I got people coming out wanna see me and shit like that. That's mm -hmm. some shit we never seen. Yeah, yeah. Nobody never come to our block and shit other than big homie now. We had big cat. We had we had a few niggas that was getting money in our hood and it won a lot. And to see them, it was like that's that's everything, you feel me? Mm-hmm. We ain't really seen nothing but them, you feel me? Right. Other than that, it's like, you know, TV. Oh, G Count. G Count was the only like rapper that was around that we knew like we got famous people in our neighborhood that come from our neighborhood. G Count from uh L E P Bogus <laughs> Yeah. They had a studio in Hostel we used to always go to. 
Mm-hmm. And we would have, we'd hear about counting them being out there. Everybody would try to run out there and get a box of shirts. My homie was actually signed to him for like a month. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. He came back and they talking about he was dropped. <laughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> you've basically been in the drill scene, at least I would say, since about the beginning. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I've been rapping since about 2013. Yeah, so almost the beginning. Yeah, I had a lot of shit. Like, I got shot a lot of times. Like, well, different situations. I was in jail. Like, I had mm-hmm. homies pass. I was just like going through. I was going through depression. I was going through everything, bro. So like, I thought I wasn't, I thought I wasn't good enough. All type of shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So you've basically witnessed how the scene has changed over time. So sure. would you say it's changed for the better or worse? Oh, it's worse now. Yeah. yeah. It's rushing now. You got out of town, niggas riding it now, you feel mm-hmm. So now it's like, shit. You smoke, you smoke, you say you smoking a nigga in the song, you might, you, you, you make a regular song, you might, you know what I'm saying, you might get a 50,000, you did some niggas in that bitch, that bitch might hit a million, you feel me? So mm-hmm. YouTube, your streams, all that shit going up. This the, this the life, you know what I'm saying? That's what niggas doing to get that money, you feel me? They feeding their families. Yeah. But then it's a lot of niggas, they keep that shit up and move out of town. Like, all right, you, you out there, this, you, now you in, Whatever you and whatever you dissing niggas, and then you got your niggas on the block. You feel me? That's why I, I stopped doing a lot of dissing. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. I'm all way out here. I'm in the studio. I'm all, I'm living. I live in the bird. Nigga come sliding through, shooting folks in them crib up, trying to catch folks. Man, I ain't even out there. They they really mad because my songs and shit though. You feel mm-hmm. me? Of course, of what they doing, what's happening in the streets. But my songs just piss mamas off and shit. Yeah, <laughs> everybody. Right. That's a mature way to look at it. Yeah, for sure. That shit karma too. Cause I used to diss and I had a bad. Two years, man. Mm-hmm. After dissing people, oh fuck that, fuck him, and oh ooh, ooh. man, I had I had bad karma. I felt like after that, I'm like, damn, I'm dissing motherfucker, I'm disrespecting motherfuckers who are already gone. I'm that ain't. I, I just ain't felt like it was cool. I caught karma after that. I got shot three different occasions after that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like, you feel me? You fuck around, get hit up, red down on them now, you can't get up. I'm a lamb, they gon' have to come pick up. We do this for fun, homie. Hey, niggas say they won't woke. Jazz class stalled on the credit. Now can't none of your nigga walk to the stove My glitz got blood on it I done put a lot of time in the yoke 